Okay, you guys, uh, this is Mr. Bullock here, and this geometry lesson is on uh, inductive reasoning and describing patterns. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get, take care of the board problem. Uh, I'll do these one at a time, so let's do number one. Find the length of the segment with endpoints A, 1, negative 3, and B, negative 2, 7. You need to know distance formula. So distance formula is the square root of, uh, you subtract the two x's and square it, and you add the subtraction of the two y's squared. Okay, so I always like saying this one to be x1, y1, this one's x2, y2. So here we go, this x minus this x, says that right here, squared. And then this y minus this y squared, so look, it's minus a minus. So this becomes negative 7 plus 3, which is negative 4. And uh, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Now I square them, negative 3 squared is 9, negative 4 squared is 16. You have to add those together first, you guys. 9 plus 16 is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So that's the link between these two points right here. Okay, number two. Uh, let's see. Okay, they said if M is the midpoint um, of segment RS, and the coordinate of R is 8, negative 2, find the coordinate of S. Okay, so I let S be just X, Y, you guys. And then use your midpoint formula, X1 plus X2 over 2, Y1 plus Y2 over 2. Okay, so this midpoint is this 4, negative 3, so I put that right there. And then I just added um, this x plus this x over 2, and then this y plus this y over 2. And that's what this stuff says right here. Okay, now this 4 equals this stuff right here. So 4 equals x plus 8 over 2. Similarly, this 3 equals this stuff. Y, I'm going to change this to y minus 2 over 2. And then I took this and multiplied both sides by 2 to get rid of that denominator. And I get 8 equals x plus 8, so x must be 0. Similarly, I multiplied both sides by 2 here and got negative 6 equals uh, y minus 2. And then I plused 2 to both sides and I get y equals negative 4. So the coordinate of s is 0, uh, negative 4. Okay, number 3. Uh, okay, A and B are supplementary angles. If the measure of angle A is three times the measure of angle B, find the measure of angle B. Okay, I always let X be the smaller of the angles, and A is three times B, so I let X be equal B. So 3X equals A, and supplementary means 180. So now I can add these X plus 3X equals 180, or 4X equals 180. And X, when you divide by 4, that's going to equal angle B. That's going to equal 45 degrees, okay? All right, so uh, let's do some inductive reasoning and describing patterns. Inductive reasoning um, uh, is just um, uh, making some educated guesses. So you look at what's happening here. So describe how to sketch the fourth uh, figure and then sketch it. Okay, so here I have looks like a circle cut into two equal pieces. Here's a circle cut into four equal pieces. Here's a circle cut into six equals pieces. Well, that's not helping me. How about this, you guys? Uh, here's a diameter, one diameter. Here's one that has two diameters uh, and cutting it up into equal pieces. Here's one that has three diameters cutting it up into equal pieces. So it looks like they're going diameter one, diameter two, diameter three. So I'm going to make one four diameters, which is going to make eight equals pieces and divide it by eight. So I'm going to draw a circle, sketch the circle with four diameters, and then shade one eighth of it. So there we go right there. Okay, so there's four diameters, and I shaded just one of them. Okay, all right, so uh, describe the pattern and then write the next three terms. Okay, so negative 7, negative 21, negative 63, negative 189. It's easy to see this, you guys. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21. Negative 21 times 3 is negative 63. So if I checked negative 63 times 3, yeah, that equals negative 189. So they're, they're going by negative, or they're going by times 3, times 3, times 3. So they're multiples of 3 beginning at 7. So I just multiply this by, by 3 and I get uh, negative 567. Then multiply negative 567 times 3 and get uh, negative 1701. Then times 3, you get negative 5103. Okay? All right, so inductive reasoning is used to make educated guesses by finding patterns. These educated guesses are called conjectures, and they're not always true. They're just a good educated guess. All right, so numbers, uh, here's an example. Numbers such as 3, 11, 15, 29, there's no particular order of those, but they're odd numbers. So test to make a conjecture about the product of two odd numbers. 
All right, so what I would do is just multiply any two odd numbers together, you guys, and see what you get. Okay, so I did this, you guys. Here's and these are just sample answers. There are infinitely many other ways. We're just it says test to make a conjecture. So I'm going to multiply uh, these two odd numbers. I get 15. Seven times nine, I get 63. Eleven times 13, I get 143. Can you see that 15 is also odd? So is 63. So is 143. So um, uh, my conjecture then is this, that the product of two odd numbers is going to create another odd number. Okay? All right, so well, let's see. So to disprove a conjecture, you just need one counterexample. All right, so find and show a counterexample to prove a statement uh, uh, from the conjecture um, to disprove. Sorry, so supplementary angles are always adjacent angles. All right, so what I'm going to do is, is show you uh, some uh, supplementary angles that are adjacent angles. Okay, so here, let's look. here's a, a line right here. Okay, and then here's a uh, here's another. There's a there's two angles right there, and let's just say that this angle right here is. Um, come on now, let me get that. Let's just say that this angle right here is uh, 60 degrees. Okay. I'm going to say that little thing is 60 degrees right there. All right. And then, uh, so that means because of the straight line right there, that this angle right here is 120 degrees because there's a straight line going right down here. Doesn't that make sense? Okay. Now, so these two angles are supplementary and they're adjacent angles. Adjacent angles means that they share a vertex. And here's the vertex that they share. They share this vertex right there. And they, and they share a common side, and my common side is this guy right there. So these guys are adjacent angles right there. But not all supplementary angles have to be adjacent angles like these ones. See, so I just need one example. Here's an example right here. These guys are supplementary angles. 45 plus 135 equals 180. So they're supplementary, but they're not adjacent because they don't share a vertex right there. Their vertexes are way apart, and they don't even share a common side. So there's a, an example that dispro disproves that conjecture.